You may not ever get over that first draft with Solomon Thomas because you're still looking for a quarterback to this day. Now, Albert Breer just wrote a quarter. What is this, Monday morning quarterback? Monday morning quarterback, Albert Breer was talking to John Lynch. Listen to this quote, Shasky, before we get back uh, to the lines. Lynch said, this is not to say Brock Purdy's going to Kenton, Ohio, but Jimmy Johnson, Jesus. you sit back and you listen oh, to the boy. speeches, and he presented Zach Thomas. And he goes, if you want to piss off Zach Thomas, call him an overachiever. He goes, because he wasn't the prototypical body and all that. People thought he was, but the guy's a damn good athlete and a damn good football player. I think that's where we're at with Brock Purdy. Which goes on to say he's done it in a small sample size, but every indication is he's the guy. He's got it. I mean, why why would you even bring up the Canton word? I mean, I know he's like, yeah, it's not to say, but you did. It's like, Bonte, do you know how many off the top of your head? Modern era, as in like uh, like. Mid sixties till now, okay. That's almost seventy years of football. Sixty years of football. How how many quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame? I uh, don't know. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. That's it. Twenty seven. Is it only twenty seven quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame? So so like feels like there's more. Well, well, that's because there's a lot from like the pre. Oh yeah yeah, merger. yeah 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 Like yeah, everything yeah, 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 like merger gotcha, is considered gotcha. like modern. Gotcha so, gotcha apologies. yeah modern and gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I mean. So no no so like <laughs> whenever you say Canton or Hall of Fame like. I'm not saying he's going to be Barry Bonds. Yeah, but you just said Barry Bonds. Like, and then everything you say after that is like through well, the, the the lens of that. That follows up Shedahead saying last week, Brock Purdy's a real deal. This is why. They believe Brock Purdy's a real deal. I know, but this is what I would say to them. Under promise and over deliver. You already did that to me with Trey Lance. We're moving to heaven and earth to get this guy for this reason. Obviously, everybody wasn't on board with Trey. And as soon as they saw Brock Purdy, and he balled out, boy, boy, oh, boy. What a, what a situation in San Francisco. Uh, we're only through week one of the preseason, man. It feels like we're in regular season mode. I don't know if I'm going to make it through October. I really don't. I don't this year, I mean, this, this may be the year I bow out of radio. Media. Nobody's mad. They help everybody out. This may be the year I just say to hell with sports media. The 707 has one of, I can only give portions of the text because it's one of the wildest texts. We need Draymond and Trey, and you can insert the rest. Gosh. <laughs> Look, Spadoni's laughing. Jesus Christ. I mean, just it's just out of control. And, and, and 408, don't see, this is what you do, 408. And I know who you are, 408, a.k.a. Jeff Porter. Uh, what? Listen to the mobile text line. Bonte saying he doesn't care about mental health. What the hell did I say that? You've never said that. What the hell? I, I'm a kid who went to therapy. I was going to therapy three years ago. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I want to go back to therapy because some of these psychos are getting on my nerves. I need therapy after this show. Okay. What right. the hell are you saying, 408? I did not say I don't care about mental health, you idiot. Block that. What a dumbass. Okay. All right, Mark in Vegas. What's Somebody's up? Somebody's mad. Mark, Mark, you're on the roast. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> Mark, what's going on? Let's go. Just, just take count to three. One, two, oh, we're good. three. Mark, go ahead. Come, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's all right. Go. <laughs> hey, I live over here in Vegas, and I and all you talk about overachievers. That's all they ever talk about when they talk about the Raiders. Oh, every year, every year since I've been here, they're going to go to the Super Bowl. They're going to go to the Super Bowl. Well, they're very good during the preseason. They are something seven and zero or something like that. But the point is, is that the Forty Nine ers trade right into a. a a team that wants to win, and they do really well during the preseason. Believe me, but that's the thing. They just were zooming. They wanted to know where he was going to go. He didn't have any kind of anybody out there to throw to or anything like that, or the or the front or the old line, just letting them blow up there. But once he got comfortable, he moved his feet. He started getting back to the way he used to be. Now, Brock Purdy itself, he. He's, you know, you're saying he's been a proven player, but that's because he's got the first line, and everybody doesn't want to get our pretty our quarterback or their quarterback hurt. But my point is, is that it's just it's just one game. You know, when you start getting your fundamentals back to normal, you come back from an injury. It just takes time. People, you just all need to be patient. And have you met the Niner fans? A, We're not patient. We're just not. You know, so, so back to the Brock thing, that John Lynch's quote there. Could you read it one more time to me? 
Yeah, so well, obviously. Could, re- could you just read that one more time? <laughs> Mental health. I just- Albert, he said this to Albert Breer, well, and this was a real quote. Yeah, this is a real quote from Albert, today's Monday morning quarterback. Oh, boy. John Lynch said this. Oh, boy. This is not to say Brock's going to Canton, Ohio, but Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> remember, he won two Super Bowls with Dallas Cowboys yeah. National Championship with the Miami All time coach, in my eyes. You sit back and you listen to the speeches, and he presented Zach Thomas. We just got inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame out of Texas Tech, longtime Miami Dolphin. And he goes, if you want to piss off Zach Thomas, call him an overachiever. He goes, because he wasn't the prototypical body and all that. People thought he was, but the guy's a damn good athlete, a damn good football player. Lynch goes on to say, I think that's where we're at with Brock Purdy. He's done it in a small, simple size, but every indication is he's the guy. He's got... Okay, I want you to just bear with me when I do this exercise and listen to what I'm saying on the front end. If Brock Purdy truly has it, can we all acknowledge it would be it would be an outlier? And I know everyone wants to point to Brady, and I get it. That was 25 years ago when he was drafted, and Brady is an outlier from where he was drafted. I get it, but I'm just going to do an exercise here, and I'm not just acknowledge that if it does come to fruition. It would be one of the wildest stories in NFL history. Right now, your top quarterbacks, in, and I'm just going to go in order based off of how most people have them power ranked in fantasy and in just in general. Mahomes, a first-round pick. Burrow, a first-round pick. Hurts, high second-round pick. Josh Allen, a first-round pick. Justin Herbert, a first-round pick. Aaron Rodgers, right. a first-round pick. Lamar Jackson, a first round pick. Trevor Lawrence, a first round pick. Before we get to other guys, those are the top eight or nine guys in the league. Okay. And I think most people would say Trevor Lawrence need to see more. Jalen Hurts need to see more. Lamar Jackson, oh yeah, you won an MVP. I want to see you do it in the playoffs. Herbert, I want to see you do it in the playoffs. For Brock to get into that level right there. That would be incredible. And I don't think that that's like hyperbolic for me. I'm like saying, like, think of how unbelievable it would be to, to rattle all those names off, where they were picked and what they've done, and then go, Mr. Irrelevant. I'm not saying that he, that he didn't produce like right. that last year. He did. What I'm saying is, is, damn, that's improbable. John Lynch has said that he's got it. Shanahan has said he's a real deal. You know what's more important? There's the players on the team believe Brock Purdy's a real deal. For sure. We've heard it all from Debo. We heard it from Trent Williams. Heard it from Brandon Ayuk. We heard it from Kittle. We heard it from Juszczyk, CMC. We've heard it from everybody. You know what? If he is the real deal, think the hell. I hope Brock Purdy is the real deal. You think he could jump one of those? Let's just, for example, one of those I don't, you know, eight or nine personally, guys? I don't give a damn where he's ranked. But you know is, hasn't that kind of been the – but see, this no, is no, where no, I, no, get, no, no. I get I get. Caught. I need a quarterback to just get me over the but top. But isn't that what Jimmy was? Yeah, yeah, but, but that wasn't Brock good was enough. Closed. Brock was good, but see, I blame that Super Bowl on Shanahan. A lot of people don't. No, no, no not just that. Shanahan what about 2021? I, I thought Shanahan mismanaged that Super Bowl. But what about 2021? I, Jimmy was bad, but also Shanahan mismanaged that fourth quarter okay. as well. All right. It goes hand in hand. Shanahan, we've avoided the Shanahan. I'm the only guy who wants to criticize Shanahan because, you know, if he gets fired, I get it. He's going to get a head coach somewhere. He's a good coach. He's a very good coach. He's an excellent play caller. But he has mismanaged some of these situations. Now, Brock, I'm just saying. Here's what I'm saying, Shasky. Yeah, yeah. If he is the real deal, thank the heavens. I want to go to an offseason where I don't want to have to talk about the quarterback and who's going to take the job and who's battling for this. And that. I hope Brock Purdy's the real deal, for crying out loud. It would help everybody if Brock Purdy, somebody but, but step can, up can, and be the real can, deal. Can you at least look me in the face as a reasonable, you seem very reasonable about this. And I agree with yeah. you. We all hope he is. We right. all want him to be. Right. We want to, We don't want last year to be a mirage. We want it to be more of the beginning of a storied right. career. It would be insane if if he was if he was mentioned in those eight guys. Right, you're talking about one of the most improbable stories in sports. It, it is. It's right up there with Brady. Right, we forget that Tom Brady is an improbable story. Absolutely, he but, was but, a six round pick. But Ponte, that is not the rule. That is the exception. Yeah, it is. It is. We'll see. We shall see. And I would also say this regarding the Brady thing. Only six quarterbacks were taken ahead of him in that draft. So I think it was only eight but, overall. 
we look at the quarterback in terms of valuation now very differently than we did 25 years ago. I think if Brady comes out now, well, yeah, he he would be, you know, <laughs> taking ticks down because of him being a statue quarterback. But but like you'll see what yeah. six or seven quarterbacks go in the first three rounds this year. I like this comment here from Austin to San Jose. If Bonte becomes reasonable. There's no show. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's, that made me laugh. It's I love even when I'm the correct. reasonable one. E- even though even though it's not correct. Who is the reasonable you know, one? I, whatever. Topic dependent. Dep- depends on the minute, right? Not even by the hour. It's by the minute. 